What up, folks? Bring you another one. Now, this one I'm calling, What Can We Learn From This Epidemic? And some other stuff, too. Now, a lot of this stuff, epidemic going on, you got people getting laid off, um, people acting crazy over toilet paper. I've never seen people act this crazy over damn toilet paper. And some people's true colors coming, and I, one of my uh, friends or co-worker was telling me that divorce rates are on the rise, and I could see that. I'm going to talk about all that stuff. I'm not going to try to make this shit long. But anyways, let's get straight to the point. Now, and oh yeah, job choice. Right here, I'm going to start off with job choice. Now, people getting laid off, and it's mainly people in like the restaurant business and some small businesses. Now, this right here should reflect on the career choice you make in life. Because this right here should show like, damn, you're seeing non-essential jobs basically closing and essential jobs closing. Not saying that any of these jobs are more or less important than the other, but this epidemic is kind of showing that because it's showing like, okay, fast food drawings are still open, but they're not fully staffed as they used to be. They close at a certain time, so people ain't making as much money as they used to. And some people are just laid off at the cut chilling. And what's also bringing is people are realizing that if they're married or got a girlfriend, like they really don't like this motherfucker. They can't stand it. And that's why I can see why the divorce rate kind of is going up right now. Because motherfuckers are really find out they can't stand motherfuckers they've been with. And back to the career choice, you should know like, oh shit. See who's not working, who's working. Like unfortunately, well I can say unfortunately, I'm still working. I, like I said, I do mechanical repair and I'm in like public transportation because I fix fucking trains and shit. So that's a career field. Transportation will never stop. And that's just a good career field. Like I said in my last video, IT, motherfuckers with IT field are still working because they can work in the cut, basically work from home. Government workers. There's like jobs that are people are still working. I will show you the form, but like I got a form that basically say if you get pulled over from the cops, you show them this form, they let you go. Basically my job gave me that shit. But there's people still working out here and this should reflect on the career choice you want to make in life and what career field you want to go into. So you know, okay, if shit pop off, I'm still gonna be working. Cause a lot of people are stressing. And if this shit goes on any longer, I've been saying that suicide rate will go up. If this shit goes on any longer, suicide rate will go up because most people in America live in paycheck to paycheck. And also, this brings into another problem. People are really learning about their finances. This is, like I said, you can't depend on people, really. And even a job, you always have multiple, why you want to have multiple um, streams of income, do some shit like this. People out here are stressing about how they're going to pay the bill. And that's why you saw the unemployment rate shoot up to 3.28 million fucking people. That's a lot of people, yo. That's bigger than the Great Recession in 1918. So, think about that shit. You always have to make strategic moves in life, yo. And all this shit, all this shit, you got to capitalize off. Meaning, off the good and the bad, you got to capitalize off both. The good and the bad. The bad, yeah, people ain't here aren't working. But the good, you can capitalize off this shit. You can get a nice come up in the stock market. Um, people selling shit for cheap. Like, I know it sounds fucked up, but that's just the way the world works. Oh, revolve. I'm sorry. That's just how the world revolves around here. People are always going to make a come up off someone else's less fortune. And that's just how the shit is out here. Now, like I said, you can buy stocks and have a nice come up. Because a lot of these rich fuckers are going to come up. Because that bailout, you think the mother, why you think those CEOs stepped down? They stepped down due to them knowing this shit was going to come. They put out all their stocks, meaning they bought all their stocks at the highest peak. And they got all that cash where well, they sold it at the highest peak. And they got all that extra cash from the profit they made. Guess what they're about to do? Buy all those stocks again for a half of what they paid for it. Now, who do you think is really winning out here? Someone is always winning in any disaster. Don't ever think someone ain't winning in this fucked up shit that's going on right now. Someone is always fucking winning. Laughing all the way to the fucking bank while many are out here struggling like a motherfucker. But like I said, I ain't going to talk too long but one of the main thing i want you to do is just do a self-reflect just think of think to yourself and like damn what can i do to make myself better just in case some shit like this ever was to happen again that's what you should be thinking about am i financially secure do i got enough food do i have enough um fucking like mentally stay am i like mentally stable i can like handle this quarantine shit because you know some people go crazy if they're not around a lot of people where they're falling into depression because they're lonely, all types of crazy shit. But yeah, you gotta get your mental straight. You gotta be mentally strong. That's why I always talk about having a strong mindset. Because it's fucked up out here. 
But like I said, I ain't gonna talk ahead. I'm gonna holler at y'all. Keep pushing through the bullshit. Peace.